What's up, YouTube? It's Anya Ivy, and this video is an interview where I interview an esoteric sexologist named Ty Shaw. She was doing an interview with a podcast called Blunt the Podcast, and I was sitting in because my two girlfriends host the podcast, Brittany and London, and they let me sit in and listen to her interview, and I was just so fascinated uh, just by everything she had going on. We definitely bonded over sex things. <laughs> but um, I wrote some things down just because you pop some of you are probably like, what is an esoteric sexologist? Say that five times fast. Um, from her website, she explains how esoteric esoteric sexology, what she does, is her practice of combining sexual combining sexological bodywork, somatic sex education, and the sacred in a way that centers the spirit and soul and that's what i really felt from her when i was listening to all of the advice she was giving and insight she had about healthy and spiritual sex and how it connects um so after the interview i had three questions for her that popped up in my head just when i was listening and she was very willing to answer them for me on tape and i hope you enjoy what she has to say i'll include her website in the comment section no i'll include her website in the info section below if you want to check her out after you've listened to some of the awesome things she has to say and i hope you enjoy Um, just getting a formal introduction of who you are for the sake of everything. I'm so glad that I met you. I'm not going to mention it. I appreciate the exchange. You know, I, I love talking to black women mm -hmm. and supporting black women. Because we all here putting in work. I mean, sisters are doing everything. Yeah. Podcasts, businesses, coaching. I mean, this sisters are really out here hustling. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's so much to do now. Right. Mm -hmm. Who is talking about the sisters who are out here hustling? Nobody. It's crazy, and they out mm -hmm. here doing it. Mm -hmm. They working hard, mm -hmm. putting out their brands. Yeah. You know, and it's like I would love to just hear more of us celebrating just how much work you see sisters putting in right now yeah. for their businesses, their brands, whatever it is they want to do. So you are a an esoteric sexologist. Yes. Yes. How would you formally introduce yourself if you walked into a room of other sexologists? I would say I help people connect their sexuality and spirituality. Yeah. And work through any trauma or challenge that is holding them back from fully being in charge of their body. That's awesome. You would say all that when you're like, that's what I yeah, wow. That's what I do. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> that's what I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. Okay, so my first question for you when I was listening to the podcast, I'll mm -hmm. include pieces of the podcast that I thought were just <laughs> heart melting. The first question is, what are, this is just some, something, one of the questions that I was thinking of before I even met you that I felt mm -hmm. like, I had to ask because it was a thought in my mind. What are some of the ways that women can access getting into dom work? Oh, dom work. Okay. So first, you need to get educated about the BDSM lifestyle, S and M, domination and submission. You know what? Maybe different kinks. Maybe different fetishes. Maybe you know what variations on what vanilla sex or what we consider kind of normal basic 
whatever people call that shit. I don't know. I've been there like, so long. Like, girl, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I made a decision a long time ago. I was not doing no more regular fun. I'm tired of that. You know? There had to be something else. There's so many options. I'm telling you. Yeah. They don't tell us that. They know they're wrong for it. They're so wrong. Wrong. They know why. They know why. So are there like websites or just you would suggest just doing the research? <sighs> the research can be so challenging. Right. So, so, so like, yes. where would I start? And then trusted sites. We want to definitely have trusted yeah. sites. Yeah. People are really into that, especially, mm-hmm. yeah. I would definitely say it depends on what you want to learn. If you're talking about getting into BDSM, I think FetLife.com is a great resource. Um, there's like King University, there's Extreme Restraints. That's like um, a podcast if you look um, extreme. Um, Restraints University, yeah. They, I'll they get also the links do, and put it yeah, in the Because bottom. I'm just shouting out like different, there's different podcasts. Loves, there's a lot of podcasts that, that help to educate you too, but I think that life is a great resource. I kind of think of it like the Facebook for kink. You know, you can find out almost about anything. There's a group almost about anything. That's how we want all of our episodes to be like, where we want you to see the title and inquire about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we try to go in from a very like surface level, like we don't know jack shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Educate us completely. Yeah, so you can always learn from the bottom up, you know. Um, but because I'm really, um, refers to bondage, um, discipline or domination, some people translate it to um, sadism and masochism. Sometimes the S is translated to submission to, depends on who you're talking to. Um, in my opinion, domination and submission implies power play. And so that's mm-hmm. more of just a fetish or a, a kink, you know, than the DS. And the there's so many layers that's why yeah. when I thought about it I was like I don't even know where to start but that was awesome thank you <sighs> the second question is how because I believe in this but how does a sex a healthy sexual life connect with a healthy psychiatric state Right. Yeah. Right. That was a good. They go to the same, don't they? They do. They do. The thing is, is the connective to me at least is the nervous system. What registers in the nervous system as memory, as good thing, as trauma, the body literally registers what you experience. Mm -hmm. And so when those those things are experienced as recurring memories or that fight or flight, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a nerve, you know, there's a signal sent to your amygdala, that part of your brain that puts you into that fear response of fight or flight. Yeah. I've been hearing that term a lot when it comes to the psychiatric state. Anything that you watch on TV or anything that you read, you always see that fight or flight. Yeah. And that short term decision making and how that connects. So if that's in line, that's what you're saying. Yeah, it's it just what we experience registers on the body level, on the brain level, on multiple levels. That that's just what it is, okay? And so yeah, you can work a lot out intellectually, mentally, mm-hmm. you know, but sometimes the feeling itself is the emotion that you cannot cut off and that's what needs to be worked out in the body. And I wish more people understood that. Or I wish that it was less of a taboo. <laughs> So, the last question, because I know you've been talking for hours and I know you're ready to relax. Um, (laughs) The third question and the last question for you that I had that I feel that we kind of connect in this aspect is how has your craft or how has what you have considered yourself professional in and that you do every day in this part of you that many people don't understand you're able to inspire by. How has your craft been healing and empowering for you? Mm, shit. That's what I want to do. Because I do exactly what I make the decision that to do. That freedom. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I, I mean, if our freedom is empowerment, what the fuck are we doing? Like, what are we really doing other than living? 
I would say Barely. I would say no. I no. would say surviving. Uh, surviving. I'm not right. interested in survival. Right. I'm interested in thriving. Right. <laughs> right. I'm interested in <laughs> Right. I'm, I'm not go okay with the bare minimum. No, I don't. That's the bare minimum. I want me. it. I want mm -hmm. it all. I want to be in love. I want to be manifesting what I want. Mm -hmm. I want to be experiencing mm -hmm. pleasure, experiencing satisfaction, experiencing abundance. Mm -hmm. And you have to pray that over yourself. We got generations of curses being prayed upon our asses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to constantly pray that shit over yourself. It's like, get real about your protection. Get serious about what you desire. I love that. Yes. I love the question. Right. Thank you for answering. I know that I may not have the best lighting and it may not be <laughs> the best situation to record. I think yeah. that just the message is what I want. And I'll definitely send this over to you once I cut it up and post it and made it look awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just answered the question. Yes. <laughs> because the page is still new, but this is whenever you kind of create the foundation for a platform, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, what are you going to be yeah. telling people? And I'm, all I want to hear is black women are out here getting there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to hear. 